All right, Mr. Fogelson here. Sorry about that. I got a little cut off uh, from my last video, but we are going to continue where we left off. Practice what you preach, practice what you teach. All right, we are in Pixel Toolbox. Remember, we got that from the internet free to download. Um, and also, we are saving our files, as you can recall, onto the desktop folder of our first name, underscore, uh, three letters of a last name, keep it small, keep it short, otherwise it bugs you. And it bugs me, and it won't work. All right, um, here are my files so far. I have five of them, so these are each a frame. Um, once you load these on the game frame, they will automatically run through them. I'm not going to configure any frames per second that you could do on your own time. Um, but I'm really focusing on the art visual aspect. All right, so I'm going to continue where I left off. We're going to continue moving this around, learning some stuff about game frame. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm on frame number five so we're going to go with frame number six now i'm going to go ahead and move this down and i think i was moving it left here no i'm going to move it back because i didn't like the way it looked so i'm just going to move it down i want to keep it kind of relatively symmetrical um, and i'm going to add something kind of interesting i'm going to go ahead and um, add a kind of a nice animation here we're going to go ahead and go with that green um, there should be an eyedropper tool clone tool let's see if we can do this clone here uh, right click on the pixel and then click here right click and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and save as and we'll save this as number six okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and save um, this nice clone tool will then maintain that color I'm gonna go ahead and move it down one and then clone this oops let's hit control Z did not want to do that I forgot to right click so right click clone that one back I accidentally made a mistake right click clone that one okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a save as um, and hit actually I'm gonna hit cancel because I want to actually I like the way this all fits really nicely and symmetrical so I'm gonna go ahead and do a save as see I'm artistically trying to put this together um, as the way I want to do it and hit save um, and then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna go ahead and clone that and I'm gonna do a save as and just a, all part of the process the longer you make these um, numbers is in each frame and saving as the longer the animation is going to be remember you start off with zero uh, the the flappy bird thingy that wasn't a flappy bird um, was about 15 so just keep that in mind with the amount of loop in seconds and so forth so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and then I'm gonna right click and uh, left click to get that on there um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a save as and I'm gonna go ahead and make this number nine all right um, I really want to move this box over because I don't like the way it doesn't sit in the middle and it adds it will add for another animation so I'm going to the dancing ants and I'm just gonna drag it to the right and if I hit control Z it won't do anything so just keep that in mind that it now fits nicely I'm gonna do a save uh, click out of that dancing ants by click on the dancing ants or another tool save as and we are going to call it number 10 all right this is the beginning of pixel toolbox tutorial I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm going to be adding some other features to it. Um, just keep that in mind um, when we are working along with this. Okay? Uh, Ta-ta for now, uh, and enjoy the rest of the videos.